Look closely to see the future of computing in this game of Pong. IBM's new experimental chip has done what has never been done before. This chip is actually playing this game? Exactly. It's actually playing the game just like uh, a human opponent would play. It wasn't always this good. At first it was terrible. But over time it actually learned to compute the trajectory, make small corrections, and now it rarely misses. When it comes to character recognition, the faint gray line below means the chip is guessing what number we're trying to write. Based on the, the threes that were used to train this chip, it thinks that because we've drawn most of a three, we're going to finish it with a tail here, even though we haven't drawn that in the other image. IBM calls it cognitive computing. One of these so-called neurosynaptic cores acting by itself is one thing, but take several million of them and network them together, now we're getting somewhere. Each yellow rectangle represents one of IBM's chips. Each white dot is a neuron in the human brain. Network enough of these super low power chips together, and IBM hopes computers will be smart enough to spot trends in and make sense of vast amounts of data much like a human would. The brain has billions of neurons acting in parallel, in concert, making decisions simultaneously all the time. And that's what you're saying this chip is going to do? That's our goal. The chip is in its very earliest stages, but they will get smaller and more powerful, and over time, make machines a lot more like us. In San Jose, Kitto, CBS 5.